see the um, ESG segment as being of benefits for both the uh, investors and the borrowers alike. So I think from a borrower's perspective, obviously there's a main focus on uh, liquidity. So if you have the ability of uh, borrowing in an ESG uh, uh, format, then obviously you will increase the pool of uh, uh, investors and, and liquidity that is available to you. So it is very smart from a diversification of funding perspective um, and also from you know the different geographies, different uh, investor types and and and. and uh, more importantly, I think there's always a difference between uh, doing things right, so diversifying, you know, the investor pool is doing things right, but more importantly, and for greater good, which was um, a theme that we heard a lot this morning, it's about doing the right thing. So I think from a borrower perspective, you have, it ticks all the boxes, the risk diversification, a greater pool of, of investors, and, and obviously um, something positive uh, for uh, a greater good. Then for um, investors, um, as you know, uh, you have um, uh, over the past decade or, or two, you have a lot of uh, dedicated asset managers um, that are in the same way that we saw in other type of, of um, uh, investment. You, for instance, I like the um, uh, comparison with the Sharia format, so in, which is um, which shares a lot of uh, similarities, obviously, in terms of sustainability. So you have dedicated asset managers, as you know, um, that are um, that have uh, raised money uh, earmarked for uh, ESG uh, investments. So for them, uh, obviously, they are uh, interested in, in, in that type of assets. Um, there was some mention of a, a green uh, premium, and that's also a conversation that we keep hearing across, you know, asset classes, whether it's, it's Sharia, whether it's project finance or other types of, of finance. But I think that over time, with the increase of uh, investors uh, in, in the field, the increase of, of borrowers as well, um, that become more and more sophisticated and offer more and more of this uh, product, I think that there shouldn't be uh, a premium or any pre premium of that kind. I think typically you tend to see them in markets that um, are emerging, but the more players you get in a given asset class, then obviously there's no need uh, for, for premium. I think you touch base as well in terms of um, uh, government policies that are supportive around the world. Um, uh, I think it, I'm a big believer in that, in particular in the Gulf. I think it's great. There's generally a top-down approach where you have policies that are in place to serve a, um, a, a given vision and, and things move fast. So I think that is one of the competitive advantages that we have in, in the Gulf. Uh, you would have seen, obviously, and, and most of us have been to the COP28, which was remarkable in, in Dubai. Um, so... I'm a big favor of government uh, being involved in that um, sustainability narrative. It helps move things way quicker.